people getting shot at at Phoenix, Arizona on the freeway, the phone number on to where you can be interactive with this vlog, and how I got the DJ Crazy Jimmy name, all coming up next. Stay tuned. Download DJ Crazy Jimmy on the Google Play Store today. And you're listening to DJ Crazy Jimmy on YouTube. Hey, what is going on? Well, last night I was driving around the Phoenix, Arizona area, and the freeway was shut down. Unfortunately, um, some people got shot at. I don't. There was no reason on to why. Apparently, they were saying that these people might have been trying to steal their cars while they're driving down the driving down the freeway by shooting at them. There was apparently, I think they said two men that were shooting and um, the police came in contact with them and they shot the men who were shooting at the cars. They finally got caught up with them and that the two men that shot back at the police, actually, they exchanged gunfire with the police, um, are in the hospital critical condition currently. I, man, I really wish the police would have just shot and killed them because there's no need for people to be on the freeway shooting at other people. There's no need for that. It's, it's really scary to be driving around at night knowing that you could get shot at for no reason and you didn't do anything. Just driving down the freeway minding your own business. That's really kind of messed up. I was up in the um, the Cave Creek area and was watching the sunrise come up. I got some really awesome photos of that. That was exciting. Um, always, of course, I met some new people and um, just got to talk about what I was doing here on YouTube. I hope that I can gain the subscribers necessary to get over to the LA studios and get in there and actually work on some awesome production stuff. I really would love to be able to put on a show. And if I can get 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube, we'll be able to take this little podcast of a recording and take it out to LA and do some major things. Hopefully network a little bit and maybe put a show together. That would be kind of really awesome to do. Okay, so... I decided that I was going to do this podcast recording little video thing, and I didn't really come up with any topics to do. Uh, just wanted to go at it and just start recording and see what comes of it. I, and, I, you know, I wrote, it, I wrote down some things on my little whiteboard here to kind of give me an idea of some things to talk about. And so I guess if I talk about them, I cross them out. So how did I get the DJ Crazy Jimmy name? Well, I got the DJ Crazy Jimmy name because I was dancing on top of speakers at a DJ gig. There was a DJ in my town while I was growing up. I was in high school, and I saw him playing, and I was like, you know what? If I can do what he does, then I would love to see if it's possible. Um, if, if he can do it, I can do it. Let's see. You know, I was young. I, I was really young. I was just got my driver's license, and I was like, hey, you know, you should let me help you DJ. I can learn from it. His name was DJ Ice Cream Man in Somerset, Pennsylvania. And um, he gave me the name Crazy Jimmy every time I walked in the front door at this nightclub that I used to go to. Just be like, hey, there's Crazy Jimmy. And so that was it. You know, I mean, people knew me for that name in that club. And I, I had no problem with the name. It was just that I like to dance on speakers and be silly and be fun to try to keep, capture people's attention and entertain. And... Um, so he, you know, he let me use his equipment. He taught me how to DJ. He taught me how to keep the crowd dancing, pick the right songs, all kinds of little trip, tips and tricks you have to know how to do if you're a DJ. And um, he got me a gig. He got me a gig. My first gig was a wedding, and I was scared. My first wedding. I mean, I did other things before a wedding, but he gave me a wedding. He says, if you're going to be a real DJ, you have to DJ weddings. And I was like, oh, my goodness, it's a wedding. I could... Oh, my goodness. And, and I was like, are they okay with me going? You know, just me? And uh, he is, yeah, 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 talk to them. I was like, oh, no, oh, no. He's like, you got to pick a name. You got to have a DJ name. Everybody, every DJ has to have a good name. And uh, I was like, well, why don't you help me pick one? He's like, no, no, that, I think that should be your, your responsibility. So I was like, all right, well, um, I'll get back at you at that. And, you know, he always called me Crazy Jimmy walking through the door. So... I just, uh, I thought about it for a couple weeks, tried to talk to some of my friends and family. They were like, yeah, you should come up with your own name, you know, because that way you live with that. And uh, my friend, he, he came up with the Ice Cream Man. That was his name because of a song um, that was, uh, you know, one of the songs out there where that's named Ice Cream Man. I, I forget by who right now. And, and if you're listening and, and you're like, does, how does he not know the name of that song? I, if I looked it up, I can find the, the artist. I, you know, as a DJ, I always look up. Anyway, neither here or there. Okay, so I, I just stuck with that name. I says, you know what? I says, uh, you always call me Crazy Jimmy when I come through the door, so we'll, we'll just stick with that. And he says, you sure, man? I was like, yeah. 
yeah, I can't think of an original name. And I says, I'll change it later. And you know what? 15, 15 years later, uh, it's been a little bit longer than that. I'm still DJ Crazy Jimmy. I've established myself online as DJ Crazy Jimmy on everything. On Mixcloud, Soundcloud, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. I'm DJ Crazy Jimmy on everything. DJCrazyJimmy.com, you name it. I'm there. If you go to the blog on DJ Crazy Jimmy, I write on there. Um, if you go to the web archive, you can go into the web archive and look at old versions of my website. You'll see how I, I learned how to do more with my website over time. Um, now, just recently, I mean, since it's been a couple of years since I've really done some gigs, I worked in radio for a year, uh, helped run an AM radio station. That was pretty interesting. Um, but, uh, you know, the, a couple things I do now, you know, I, I have the DJ Crazy Jimmy radio network on the Google Play Store, the app that's available. You can download that and please listen. I got 12 internet radio stations that run 24 hours a day. It's an awesome place to be. Um, so that's that's pretty much how I got my name, the DJ Crazy Jimmy name and the brand. So also, um, I love to write. You know, I love to write. And, and the reason I love to write is that um, it's just a great form of expression to sit down without electronics, <laughs> to sit down without watching TV, you know, just to be in an empty room and write and just... And that, that just to have that ability to put something down on paper and look back at it later and see where you were at. I, I love the form of writing. However, I'm not the best at it. I went to school at Valencia College in Orlando, Florida for writing for a little bit and took some classes. I never really got a chance to finish the, the university there because I was always working. Um, however, they... There was a writing teacher, um, Professor Darden. He was a really good professor. I think he's still there today. And he said the reason why the class wasn't that great at writing is because writing didn't like them and they didn't like writing. So he kind of upset me. And I was like, you know what? I take that as a challenge. Not a negative way, but I take that as a challenge. So I'm going to learn how to write. So I sat down with a pen and paper and I started writing and writing and writing until I got sick of it and I couldn't write anymore and I just continued to write beyond that to get better at it. Writing to me is kind of how I started doing this vlog. To be honest with you, I've been recording these kind of recordings now for um, several years. I've just been doing it on a private basis and I have a friend that I ever record for and I would mail those CDs out and just kind of like get experience talking into a microphone and being okay with whatever I, I say and um, not being hypercritical and edit every single cut. Just do a quick, you know, hour recording and see what happens from that. That whole hour, just to sit and talk for an hour and know when that time is up. That is that that to me is really an awesome experience. If you can if you can sit down and talk for an hour into a microphone and continue on with the story and you have a listener, at least one listener. You'll get better at it over time. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to do this vlog on YouTube where I'm just going to throw it out there to whoever wants to listen, whoever wants to hear my stories. To be honest with you, I, I'd be blessed and I, I would love, love to have the opportunity to reach a lot of people. But if I can reach one or two, it would be great and just have a few loyal people that listen to, to what I've got to say here. That would be great. So I, I try to, I'm trying to make sure that this can be entertaining. However, I know that people don't really got time a day to sit down and watch a 10-minute video at a time. So I've got to come up with some topics maybe. If you have a topic you want me to talk about, leave a comment. Write a descript write something uh, you know, in the comments. Uh, I'll write a, like a little article in the description on what, what I'm talking about. And I will definitely edit the beginning. Um, you can see in my previous videos I have... Uh, after I record this, I put it in the computer and I edit it together. And then I do a little take on my GoPro. I say, hey, you know, this is what this video is about. And then it goes to my intro. So, you know, that's kind of what this is. Um, I got about a minute left before I'm going to cut this video because I, I like to keep them around 10 minutes. So another thing that's interesting is I have... Um, my radio station network, I'm giving away radio stations right now currently. If you're interested in starting your own internet radio station, get a hold of me and I will help you out with a radio station of your own. Um, it's on a limited basis right now. If I get over, overwhelmed and demanded with this, uh, you know, I will only be able to give out so many radio stations at a time. Um, and as always, download your Facebook information. Go to domains.google.com. Go to go domains.google.com today and register a domain. It only costs $15. Why should you do this? Because if you download your information off of Facebook, 
what's going to happen is that you're going to you're going to have the ability to create your own website and that's kind of what i want to talk about here on this vlog once a week i'm going to talk about certain things that i want to talk about but i definitely want to teach about technology and the domain name getmyfacebook.com that's where i'm going to help develop a way to show you how to download your information off of facebook and create your own website on a WordPress platform. Once you have a WordPress platform, you can actually have a website and then take that information and transfer it to other types of content management systems available out there. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google CMS, Content Management System, just type that into Google and learn what that means. I think if you spend 10 hours a week on Facebook, that's too much. You need to download your data and get off of there. Go to WordPress, buy your own domain today. It's free, I'm not getting a kickback from this. To actually learn how to get your website uh, up and running, it's free information that's out there, and that's kind of why I want to do this vlog. However, there's some other things I want to talk about. So my time is currently up. It's been about 10 minutes of recording this vlog. Thank you for paying attention this week. Next week, we'll see what I've got to say. Uh, I'll do as many vlogs as possible in a day or two, and hopefully get these things up online as soon as possible. And if you are interested in signing up for Uber, please do so. I will provide you the link. And if you do the minimum requ required of rides, there is available to get the kickback, which is like, I think I get, uh, you know, like a hundred bucks back if somebody signs up. Um, if I do get money back, if you sign up through my link, what I will do for you is I will mail you a gas card for 20 bucks if I get a kickback. So um, there's other people on YouTube asking to, for you to sign up through them. If you do it through me, I'll send you a $20 gift card um, just to show you appreciation for, for going through me. And um, as always, check you later. DJ Crazy Jimmy on the Google Play Store. Check it out today. It's the app that's going to help you discover new music. RadioMeLive.com, ElectronicDanceMusic.audio, and a atimeforadiscussion.com is an open forum blog where you can talk about anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Peace. Call and leave a message. 601-336-0052.